Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to replace the front door speakers on this 2008 Toyota 4Runner. In this install, we're going to show you how to replace both the mid-range 6x9 as well as the tweeter with a nice aftermarket set. We're going to head over to the bench and show you what parts, wiring, and brackets you'll need to wire up this new component set in the factory location. Let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do to get these factory speakers out is remove a couple of screws and pop the door panel off. Now I start with the little pocket. There's a screw here, a screw here. There's a little clip here and the sail, little sail panel here that needs to come out. So the first thing we need to do is I have an angled pick tool that I'm just gonna kind of grab and pop out this piece. So we have our little cover here and exposes a screw. Now our armrest here, you can actually get your fingers up underneath, just kind of pop it up. There's two clips there. There's going to be one screw up underneath that. Your sail panel all the way up here, you need to pop that on out as well. You just get a little panel tool here, pop that on out, just one little clip. And then down here, there's this light, so we just push down on the light, and pop the light on out and disconnect the harness. Okay, now at this point of time, the last thing that we can get to is there's a little little clip here. You push in the center circle, it pops in, and then the whole clip comes out. Looks like this. Pop the whole clip out, and then when we're ready to install it, we push it the opposite direction, we'll put it into place, and then lock it. We're gonna kinda get our fingers, there's a little lip on the door panel, give it a pull. lift up now we need to disconnect this harness down here okay we after disconnecting the harnesses the last thing here your door handle and there's a little Phillips screw holding in the handle itself with all those removed let's go ahead and put the door panel off to the side let's next pull out our Factory 6x9, either 10 millimeter or Phillips works. Disconnect your harness. For a tweeter here, two 10 millimeter bolts, hold it in. Now we gotta slide our harness off like that and then disconnect our harness and pull out the speaker. So at this point of time with our tweeter and mid-range out of the door, let's head over to the bench and show you the parts we're gonna need for our install. All right, so here at the bench, the parts we're gonna need for our install, first and foremost, the speakers that we've chosen to go with. These are the six by nine inch component Alpine type S speakers. Comes with a component speaker as well as a tweeter and an inline tweeter crossover. Now to accommodate those in the factory location, we need a speaker bracket adapter, and this is the Metra 82-8146. It does come in pairs, so one for each side. For wiring for that speaker, we need the Metra 72-8104, and it also does come in pairs, so you get two of them, one for each side. Now to mount the aftermarket tweeter in the factory location, we have these speaker brackets for the tweeter that fit perfectly. It's a two inch hole cutout for our uh, Alpine Type S speakers. And we'll link these down in the description so you know where to pick these up. So essentially all we're gonna do is get our speaker mounted into our brackets. Speaker wiring harness adapters on the terminals and this end plugs into the door. We need to actually rob this harness off this tweeter so we can use it with our new tweeter setup. So let's get started. All right, there's our mid-range. Got the screws all in, nice and solid. Flipping it on over, we did put in our speaker wiring harness adapter and got those hooked up to the terminals. I did test the tape or harness just to give it a little bit more protection and I zip tied it to the basket so it's not going anywhere. Harness goes up through this hole and it plugs into the factory plug. So our mid range is done. Now let's focus on the tweeter. Now our factory tweeter went ahead and cut off that harness here, but I left a little bit just in case down the road you need to reinstall it. And then this is the factory harness. Red is positive, black is negative. So what we're gonna do, cut out a ton of this extra wiring. It's just way too much. 
So we're going to cut it about here, and then this end. We'll strip both ends, and we're going to solder into this. So we have a direct lead, and then the other end will also cut a little bit shorter, just to give us a little bit less wire to work with in the door panel. Okay, so we went ahead and shortened up this quite a bit. This is the factory harness positive through a crossover and then through the crossover into our tweeter. So took out a ton of wiring in between there and just soldered and heat shrunk everything up. But what we'll do is test the tape it and go get it installed. Okay, with everything completed here, what we're gonna do is head back to the car, get our speakers in. First step here, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, six by nine mounted. Connect our harness here, just like so. Next, let's install our tweeter here. Now we're gonna reattach our harness back to this little slider here. So it's nice and connected, and then we'll connect our harness up, just like so. Now what we'll do is we'll zip tie our crossover there in place so it doesn't flop around in the door. All right, everything is in, nice and clean. There's a crossover, plugs into the factory location. Looks awesome. At this point, of course, we'll do a quick little test to make sure everything's working, but let's go ahead and get the door panel reinstalled. about it for the install if you have any questions on what we did here post a comment below if you want to see how to do the back speakers we did those as well we'll have a card up above as well as a link down in the description that walks you through how to do those rear coaxials thanks again for watching be sure to hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe we post great content on the channel all the time we will see you in the next video